In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can make your homepage when using the Buddy Boss theme look just like our public online communities demo. We've had a lot of requests from customers asking if they can get their homepage to look just like this. And I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to do that. Okay, so there's really four parts to this page. There's the header, the Buddy panel, the content of the page, and then the sidebars. So I'm gonna go through all the steps one by one. Let's start here with the header. Okay, in this tab, I have a pretty fresh install of the theme, and we're gonna get the header to be similar to this. So first thing we can do is go into the dashboard and go into Buddy Boss theme options. And under header, you can pick the header style. If you have this one selected, it's gonna put the logo on the left, just like here. And then I'm going to go into logo, turn the desktop logo on and I'll upload an image. So I have this logo here, I'm gonna use that and save. So now we have our logo added. And then I'm gonna set up the menu that goes here. So I'll go into appearance menus. I'm gonna create a new menu called title bar. And I'm going to assign it to the title bar area. That's going to pin the menu up here, but there's nothing to see yet until you start adding some pages. So I'll put some pages here and save it. Now we have a few pages. Of course, which pages go here don't need to match the demo. It's whatever content you want you put up here. And on the right, we have our profile dropdown, the search, the inbox, and the notifications, just like our demo. If we really want it to be the same and have the cart, then all we have to do is enable WooCommerce. And that will add the little cart icon here. Okay, so now our header is set up. Let's go move on to the left panel, which we call the buddy panel. Okay, so just like the title bar, this is also going to be set up at appearance menus. So let's go there. I'm gonna create a new menu. I'm gonna call this one buddy panel. And then the links we put in here, I'm gonna take from the buddy boss section. These are all relative links, meaning these are links associated with content for the logged in user. So I'm gonna go ahead and add these to the menu and I'll set this menu to be for the buddy panel logged in users menu area. And now when I refresh, we have our section on the left, just like the demo. And another thing that you may have noticed in our demo if you're on a bigger screen is that this icon is kind of floating at the bottom. So let's go ahead and set that up as well. So if I go here, I can click on buddy boss and account, I'm gonna add that to the menu. And I'm gonna click stick to bottom. And that's gonna dock that one to the bottom. And you'll notice that each link in the menu comes with an icon. So an icon is automatically set for you, but you can always go back in here and select the icon. And from here, you can pick any other icon. And we have a lot of different options for icon sets to override that. Okay, so next we're going to move to the interior content. So you can see the content here is an activity feed. So let's go ahead and set that up. So first, if I go to Buddy Boss Components, you wanna make sure that activity feeds are enabled. And when you enabled it, it should have created a page for hosting your activity feeds. So we're gonna set that page as the homepage. So let's go into Settings, Reading. And then Homepage Displays, we're gonna say a static page. And from here, you wanna pick the page that was created that's associated with your activity feed. So I'm gonna save that. And now let's refresh the site. And if I click on the home page, we can see that it's loading my activity feed, just like this. So this says activity feed, because that's the name of the page. I could click edit page and rename it to whatever I want. Now it's basically the same. And if I click into this, I can post an update. Whereas when I come here and click into it, we have these icons for photo, GIF, and emoji. So these are coming from the media settings. So back here, we can go back into Buddy Boss components. And you wanna make sure that media is activated and then go into the media settings. So we can enable users to upload photos. 
and that's gonna put it photos into the activity feed. We can enable emoji on profiles and we can enable animated GIFs if you've added a Giphy API key, so you can do that separately. And now we have the icons to upload a photo into the activity feed and an emoji. And if you set up Giphy properly, then you can do that as well. I have a separate tutorial on how to set up the API key there. So now the only thing really remaining are the left and right sidebars. Okay, so right here in this demo, we're gonna go into the widgets area in the back end and see what widgets have been set up here and we're just gonna copy them. So here we can see the activity directory left and activity directory right. So back in our site, we're gonna do the same thing and go to appearance widgets. And then activity directory left, we're just gonna copy it. So here we see BB recent posts. So that's this widget. So let's put that in there. And we'll look at the settings and save that. And then the second one is BB users I'm following. So that's this one. And looks like the settings are the same. So that's the left sidebar. We can see that the blog post was created just like this. Although my blog post does not have an image. That's why we don't see an image. I'll fix that in a moment. And you'll also notice that the users I'm following didn't show up. And that's because I'm not actually following anyone yet. So we'll fix that in a moment too. So first let's go into posts and I'm going to edit this post and I'm going to give it a featured image and update that. And now when I refresh this, we have our image here working same way. And then let me go to the members directory. I'm going to follow Luna and follow Charles. Let's go back here. And now we have the users I'm following working the same way. If these users had uploaded profile photos, they would display here. And now let's move to the right side. For the right side, it's really the same story. We just want to copy the widgets. So I can go back into my site and go to appearance widgets. And if we look back on our demo site, we're going to copy the widget areas for the activity directory right. So the first one is BB latest activities. So let's find that one. Here it is, BB latest activities. So that's just using the default. And then the next one is BB recently active members. And that's this one. So we'll just make that the same. And then the very last one is BB social groups. So that's this. All right, so that's good. And let's refresh it. Here we can see the latest updates, just like the demo. Recently active members, just like the demo, and then groups, just like the demo. Although I don't have any groups, let's just go ahead and create some really fast. So I can go to Body Boss Tools. I'm gonna import some groups. And now we have some groups. One more thing I wanna do is stick the header to the top, just like the demo. So I'm gonna to go to Body Boss Theme Options and go to Header. I'm just gonna make it sticky. Let's refresh. And now this is basically the same as our demo. Of course, the color scheme's a little bit different. You can adjust that as well under theme options, styling. And from there, you can adjust colors here. And of course, you can do the same thing in our demo and copy whatever colors you like.